I felt very intimidated. I think my first day was when I was 12. And it was very, very intimidating being surrounded by people that were over twice as old as me. And I know I called everyone doctor and was very worshipful. I know that for some experiments, I was doing them for half a year before my mentor said, Kyle, your numbers are off by a factor of two. And that's why nothing's working. <laughs> I'm given a lot of say what we do. So my mentors and I, we sit down and we decide what to do. And so most of my day is spent in something called a tissue culture hood. And so basically it's this very claustrophobic place where you sit down and that you just try to handle cells and try to grow them and try to test chemicals on them. And so um, we do something that's called high throughput screening, um, HTS. And so it's basically we can test thousands of compounds of chemicals to see if they can do things to cells. And in our case, we, we see if they can we program cells into embryonic stem cells. And so basically, I'm the sharp end of the stick for trying to do that. Yeah, I think that's a really regrettable part about science because I really sincerely think from the bottom of my heart, things would get done 10 times faster and everyone would be a lot more happier and meaningful if um, if everyone could work together. So within Harvard and MIT internally, we have a lot of collaborations, but there's definitely a lot of people at other co institutions that some of which we work with and some of which work in similar fields. And so it can be very intense at times, but I think it's a lot healthier every day if you can wake up and say something like, I want to do something that can help my friends and try to help people in the world.